ladies. So today I would like to talk about what a, how a romantic relationship that is healthy actually looks like. So that relates a little bit to the post I have done yesterday, how a healthy high value man in opposite to a low value man um, behaves. And today I would like to take it further and share how a healthy relationship would uh, look like and um, so many of you already know that um, I'm a big fan of uh, feminine and masculine energy and that um, romance and attraction especially in uh, a romantic relationship is being created when the feminine um, woman so uh, my followers and I um, consciously choose to be the feminine um, woman so um, the attraction creates when she's the feminine and he's um, stepping up to be the masculine masculine role in the relationship and um, I'll be honest with you that I've been a long time confused what a masculine healthy masculine man looks like because I did not have any good role models and uh, what society and the movies taught me was to fall for the bad guys so that was um yeah not quite the best and um so traits of a healthy and um healthy relationship are that first of all like the woman is the feminine and the man steps up to be the masculine role Okay, and that in a healthy way. So let me sh explain with you what would uh, it looks like. So the feminine is all about being, feeling, and um, being cherished. So um, she is the one who is the prize. She is the one who is pursued, and she is the one who is being cherished. So I have shared with you in other live streams that. Um, I used to hide from men who would <clears throat> chase me and want to like come close to me because I thought it's dangerous. But um, no, when the man is healthy, he is going to want to make you happy and um, cherish your feelings so that you always feel good. And um, the masculine is all about doing. So um, he like does things, does the heavy, lif heavy lifting. He wants to come close to you, so the physically heavy lifting. He wants. He thinks about you all the time, and he wants to make you happy. So he's all about doing, providing for you, um, also auditioning. But also he has the lead, so you kind of let him lead. Um, so um, for example, if he wants to spend time with you. You just um, go along and and let yourself lead so he plans the dates he plans um, what time he spent with you how he spent the time with you so you let him lead the relationship but you yourself lead your own life so when you're by yourself only alone without the guy you have both feminine and masculine energy and you lead your own life so when he doesn't give you any attention you are not um, dependent on that you can give yourself your attention and you can uh, definitely um, meet other people and have fun so when he's not there you just live your life you have fun and um, when he is coming towards you he texts you he calls you he want to meet you then you let him initiate and you let him lead so that is kind of healthy and if you have any questions towards that topic i would love love to answer to answer them and um yeah so that's kind of um the surface and therefore all those rules like don't text him don't call him don't initiate uh, contact are coming from because um then you leave the space for him to come closer towards you and I remember even um, one guy I'm dating, he asked me lately, well, um, when I'm doing everything, <laughs> because I explained this topic to him too, 
well, what are you doing? <laughs> and I shared with her, well, the feminine, she is the inspiration for the masculine to move mountains for her. So when the man has the right woman, she is giving him the energy and he has the energy to work, to provide for her, to take care of her, to cherish her and the children. And um, that is priceless. It's like the gasoline in the car, well, like, right? So the car isn't uh, running without the gasoline. So the energy is equally important, even when maybe we cannot see it in manifestation. Yeah. So I think these are the um, core um, assignments, uh, core values that um, describe a healthy relationship. Other than that, um, I will continue talking in another live stream. So thank you so much for watching. And like I said, drop me a heart down below, uh, write down a comment what else you would like to know about this topic. Also, if you have any specific questions, maybe to your own um, situation about legal finances or about other other topics, um, how a healthy man would behave. So drop me your questions down below and I see you soon.